Okay, hi everybody. So we've got our familiar triangle. And so let's just draw it first. Mm -hmm. There's 0, 2. There's 0, 0. Then over at negative 1, comma 2, we have our triangle. Okay. So let's actually, since we're going to do... Uh, two different ways. We're going to get an iterated integral in two ways. I'm actually going to just redraw the triangle. Okay. And so um, what I'm also going to do now is just label. So like this pink side is the most complicated line. Um, it's the most complicated line because the other lines are super easy. Like this line is just x equals 0. And uh, I don't know. Let's choose. This line is, is the line y equals 2. And so the pink line, though, is trickier. And it has equation 2x plus y equals 0. And you need to figure out how to get this equation uh, in general. It's hard to get the equation of a, of a curve. This curve is the boundary of our triangle, or well, one of the boundaries. And then once we have that equation, we can either solve for x or solve for y. And... Um, We'll actually need both for this uh, this question. Okay, so let t be that triangle. Now we really know what it is. We've uh, examined it and its boundary lines. Set up the integral as an iterated integral. That means I'm going to repeatedly use the fundamental theorem of calculus, repeat one-dimensional integrals um, in both orders. Okay, and people say dx, dy, dy, dx. Of course, they never tell you what these symbols mean. And so I like to avoid these symbols. They are unnecessary. However, you should know that they exist. And so that's why we're doing this problem. Um, OK, so there's basically two ways to do this. We can um, fix x and integrate the y dimension. Then integrate the result, integrate um, the x dimension after. OK? That's what we did in a previous video. And so what people write is they say, well, OK, first we're going to integrate the y dimension from y equals something to y equals something. And let's draw a picture to figure out what should y be. So if I fix x, I've chosen an x, then my triangle is sliced at this x value, giving a line segment, this uh, gray line segment. And so the, depending on where I slice, I will get a different end point. If I slice right there at that x, I'll get this. And so you see that the, you know, this end point is changing, which is why I need this formula. Oh, whoops. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, what is changing here? Well, if I fix x, then I need a formula for y equals, right? I want to integrate y from something to something else. And so I don't want this one. I want this one. And then up here, it's, it's easier, y equals 2. OK? And integrate f. Now, people write dy. Okay, and they have no idea what this means. It is a linear function of a vector called a differential form, and you don't know what it is, and probably very few people do. And so why would we use something that we don't know? But I'll just write it, okay, because people write it, and you should know that this has absolutely no effect on what you're doing. But maybe it reminds you that you're integrating over y first. And then this will give you some results. I'm just going to put it in a big brackets. You could put it in parentheses. 
I'm just sort of saying, look, this is something that we're going to do, and we're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus to do it. But then we want to integrate over the x dimension. Now this is easier, because if we're going to get out a number, we have to plug in numbers. So there can't be any more formulas. Like here, we had a, a formula and a number. But here, we're just going to get negative 1 to 0. Why? Because as we're sliding x afterwards, it goes from negative 1 to 0. OK. And so then we'd maybe write dx to say that you know after we do dy, then we integrate over x. OK, and this is what people write. So people write this. I won't even. OK. There's another way we could do it. We could first fix y and integrate the x dimension first. So if I fix a y value, that's fixing a height, right? And so I'm, now I'm going to slice like this. And now my slices look like this. And so if I fix a y, like at this height y, then I need to know where x goes. I'm going to integrate over x equals something to x equals something, the function f, with respect to the x variable, I guess, if you want to interpret this symbol for now. And now, this is where I use this other, I solved in a different way, minus y over 2. That'll give me this left endpoint. For any fixed value of y, I will be able to plug in, and minus y over 2 will be the x, the x value that I need right there. OK, and then the other x value is always the same, x equals 0. OK. Great, and so now once I've applied the fundamental theorem of calculus here, then I'll integrate dy next from y equals 0 to y equals 2. Why? Well, because my fixing of y should start from 0 and go up and slice and slice all the way up to y equals 2. OK. And then maybe I'll, I'll finish writing in words, fix y and integrate x dimension first, then integrate the y dimension. OK, and so we would apply the fundamental theorem twice. Um, both of these iterated one-dimensional integrals integrals so iterated to iterate means to repeat something to do something over and over to iterate is to repeat something and so I repeatedly integrate uh, in one dimension and so they called iterated integrals give the exact, the exact answer, which is the weighted sum of the values of f over the triangle t, weighted by the triangle's two-dimensional volume, because we did two fundamental theorem of calculi, and that's how it works. Okay. Now notice, like, they didn't actually tell us what f is, and so we should just do any f. it. So I set it up dx dy, which I guess is there. And I set it up dy dx, which I guess is there. Yeah. Let's look at my other solution. Yeah, it's basically the same. <laughs> 